Hello and welcome to another Concerned Normal blog. My name is Matthew Coster and in this video we're going to talk about transferring emails from one account to another account easily. Now this can happen for a number of reasons. You might be wanting to change your internet service provider from one company to another. You may want to be uh, opening up another email account because you think one might be compromised, you want to switch over, or you just want to switch over for no particular reason at all. In any case, you want to basically get all of your emails from one account to the other. Now, in the past, I'd recommended to clients to um, get either Outlook or uh, Thunderbird or some other email client and download all the emails via uh, POP3. Now, POP3 is a protocol, uh, protocol called Post Office Protocol, which basically downloads all of the emails from the server to your computer, removing them from the server in the process. Now, in the old days, uh, by old days I mean back when the internet first started and beforehand when everything was dial-up, um, all of the emails were basically on your home computer. Laptops weren't really that popular, and whoever had a desktop machine, all the emails went to that device. Now, today, a lot of people have devices like uh, iPads, iPhones, uh, even iPods. They have Android devices, they have smartphones. Um, so you can pretty much get your email on any device, anywhere, anytime. So downloading emails via POP3 is no longer a real viable option anymore. So most people now have webmail, either through Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo. And usually when they create another account, they want to create an account that also has webmail again for the simple reason that they can access it on any device, anywhere, anytime. Um, the other option, of course, is to create an account that has IMAP. Just give me a second here. Someone keeps paging me on my phone. That's that weird noise that you hear if you even hear it at all. So I'm just going to turn my phone off for the next little while. Speaking of cell phones, that was a couple emails I just got. So basically what we're going to go through today is transferring emails from an old account to a new one. Now the old account can be any kind of account, uh, POP3, IMAP, or a web account. But the new account has to be either IMAP or web account. Now in this particular case, I'm demoing a IMAP account, coming from an IMAP account, going to a web account. So I'm going from a email address I created specifically for this video from concernnormal.com to an old email address I had on Gmail. So we're going from a full-blown email address to a free webmail address. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to be using EM client. Now, EM client I came across not too long ago. Um, we at work used to use Thunderbird, and from what I had heard, Thunderbird was no longer being used. And I need to come up with a solution as one of the staff members has over 14 gigs of email. Now, switching over to Outlook is not possible as their max file size is four, and it splits it up into different uh, different files at that point after four gigs. It's not a very viable solution. EM client allows theoretically an infinite number of files, of course, as much as the file system can handle. So as long as your file system can handle it, EM client can handle it as well. Now the free version that we're going to be dealing with today allows up to two email addresses or two email accounts to be checked. Now that's all we need for this project because we're moving from one account to the next, so this is perfect for it. Now we're going to install it. Now if you're only going to be installing it for the purpose of uh, moving your emails from one to the other, you don't need to um, select set EM client as default application and you don't need to set run as Windows Startup. Now I'm going to keep this application afterwards so I'm going to remove the run on Windows Startup because I really don't like the application starting up constantly but I do want to launch and I do want to set it as a default application. Now if you have other applications set for default applications you may get a pop-up window like this uh, especially on Windows 8 which asks you what do you want to be the default application for. Now, I'm leaving my mail to as Google Chrome because I use a lot of um, Gmail directly from the browser. When I click on a mail to icon, I want to go up as my default Gmail account and not my EM client. If you want to use solely the EM client on your desktop, then you can definitely check that. I'm not going to for this particular instance. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to close this. Now, this is um, EM client. It's a very, very clean interface. We're going to add our two accounts. So the first one I'm going to add, it doesn't matter which uh, order you add them in, but it's under Tools Accounts. I'm going to add the IMAP account first, which is the old account. Now, 
Now, it automatically checks the settings. Uh, I definitely want to send the credentials over the net, so it requires authentication. Yes, I want to send. I hope I typed my password correctly. Maybe not. Let me try this again. Yes, yeah, so I want to send it. There we go. So this is working now. So now it's checking the SMTP, which is the send mail transfer protocol. I'm just going to send the mail out. So I want to set up with my name. None of this information really matters at this point because this is the old account. And if you're not keeping the EM client, none of the information matters at all, even if you uh, install your other account, which is going to be, uh, in this case, the new account, the free, we uh, the, the free online webmail account. Um, if you're not using the application, it doesn't matter what the settings are, as long as the login and the passwords are correct. So you'll see that I already have some mail in this demo account. Uh, of course, test messages from previous recordings that have failed. Uh, of course, the latest one now being 8.42 p.m. or 8.42.57 p.m. And I have a bunch of test emails that uh, I sent earlier to this particular account. So now we're going to add our second account. And in this case, I'm going to be adding a Gmail account. This is one of my old accounts that I no longer use. Oop. if I actually spelt properly as well here. Wrong password. Okay, so again, it doesn't really... Oh, actually, it's going to matter because I misspelt this here as well. I just caught that. I don't want to sync the calendar. I don't want to sync the the chat. Um, if you are going to keep the ca the keep the EM client, I would recommend definitely syncing the calendar and contacts. Syncing the chat can be good if you, if you do use the chat. If not, every time somebody logs on, you get a pop in the bottom corner saying so and so is on. Uh, it can get annoying after a little while, but definitely sync your calendar and contacts. It becomes very beneficial as you do have calendar tasks and contacts in the uh, the bottom section down below. So I'm going to click on finished. And OK. So now you're going to see a second email pop up here. I don't have anything in the inbox. There's basically this is a fully empty account. So the way that this works now is to transfer from one to the other is very, very simple. Now you see there's nothing here. I'm going to actually log on to it online. Again, issue is typing. So now I'm logged into my lost note account. You'll see there's nothing in the inbox. I'm going to go back to the client. I'm going to take all the mail that's in the inbox by hitting Control A. That'll select everything. I'm going to click and drag all of these emails into the lost note Gmail inbox. They're going to disappear from this account. This account's now empty. There's nothing here. You'll see that they're now in my lost note at Gmail account. This little circular thing when it was up meant it was syncing. If I go back to the inbox, you'll now see that it now has all of those email messages. So this is a very, very easy way of transferring messages from one to the other. I can now go in here and I can say to the accounts, I want to get rid of this one. Now I can either remain and keep the one account and keep its calendar as well as its tasks. And holidays have been found. Uh, postponed for now. I'm going to get rid of the application. I uh, might not. We'll see. But I am definitely going to delete this email just because I don't use it at all. So I'm going to delete this one here from the account. Yes, I want to delete it. So now you see I no longer have any accounts, so I can now close the application, I can even uninstall it if I want, and all the messages are still in my inbox. So that's pretty much it. And you can see that it was originally sent from this account to begin with, mind you. Um, 
to my demo account and I just now transferred them all the way into this account here. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's fairly easy to do as I said. You basically add the two applications into EM client, um, transfer them from files from one to the other. Um, same thing goes for folders. Let me just quickly open up the EM client here. I'm just going to add those two accounts again. Let's give it a few moments to kick in. It's going to give me another one of those messages here that it's a uh, demo accounts or demo message so go back into accounts I'm going to re-add my gmail account Okay, so you'll see that all my stuff downloaded again. I now have a new message in my inbox, but I'm going to create a folder. Call it demo folder. I'm going to create my demo concerned normal account. I'm going to take this email and transfer it into the demo folder. So now I see that's where my email is. Now this is downloaded, actually this is going to be on both servers, because it is an IMAP account, uh, as far as I recall. Yeah, it was IMAP. So it would basically um, sync this with the demo if I actually had a login on the webmail for it, which I'm not going to go into. Um, if it's POP3, this is just on your system. But I can now take this folder, the demo folder, and bring it down to the Lost Note account, let go. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to move the demo folder and all of its contents to the location, in this case, lostnote.gmail.com? I say yes. You'll see the folder has now been moved over. It did its sync, which means now if I go back to Gmail, I now have demo folder and the file inside it. So again, it's a very, very easy way to transfer files back and forth. You can delete your accounts from here without any worry of deleting any of the information, and all of your emails are backed up in the, the new account. So if you have any questions, please comment on my blog at concernnormal.com. Um, there is a post for this there. I'll link it in the uh, comments down below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.